Welcome to the Fit Show. I'm NBC National Competitor Stan McQuay, and we're here at the Coliseum Gym in Fullerton, California. I'm here today to show you some of my personal training secrets, so come on in and join me. Good afternoon. So here we are, we're here at the world famous Coliseum Gym. And what I'm doing here today is I'm going to show you some of the miscellaneous body parts that I feel are very important. A lot of bodybuilders overlook these body parts, and we're talking about the traps, abs, cads, and forearms. I'm going to show you some of the secrets I use. So come on in, follow me. So here we are. We're here at our first exercise, and my first movement is Smith Machine, machine Shrugs. Okay, we're going on the traps right here. I think traps are very important because they do give you that illusion of actually being bigger than you really are. That sounds funny, but if you're looking at yourself in the mirror from one dimension, you know, you want to have that V taper, okay? You actually want to be, make yourself look bigger than you really are. And traps help cap that off. So if you're going for the V taper, help narrow that off at the top right here. So one of my first movements that I use is Smith Machine Shrugs. Here we go. I like to use full range of motion, okay? The reason why I use a Smith Machine is because I like to isolate it. I don't like to, there shouldn't be any rotation in the shoulder, just straight up and down, okay? Squeeze all the way to the top, nice stretch at the bottom. No need to go fast with these. I want to feel the squeeze, feel the flexion of each rep. And right from there, what I do is I'll just flip right over Another variation now, same thing though. Shrugs from the rear now. The difference being now is your shoulders are pulled back slightly, scapulas are squeezed together, and you're working more of the inner trapezius muscle. And there you have it. Okay, we're moving on to the second exercise, and that's going to be dumbbell shrugs. Now, what I didn't emphasize before is the importance of your trapezius muscles, uh, especially for the illusion of bodybuilding. You know, you want to go for the V taper. Well, I think the traps is very important because it actually caps off the top of that V and give you the illusion of actually being bigger than you really are. Now, the exercise that I actually like to, choose, to use right now is going to be dumbbell shrugs, only I'm going to be doing a rep, reps of 21, okay? First part of the movement, you're going to be holding the dumbbells behind you, okay, with your shoulder blades pulled back. Second part of it will be right at your side, neutral position, and the third part will be right from the front. So I'm going to go ahead and start off, okay, and you pull the dumbbells right behind you, traps back, Now right inside. Again, full range in motion, all the way down, all the way up. And right to the front now. And there we go. Dumbbell shrugs. Okay, the next body part that we're gonna be working today is the abdominals. Now, this is why the abdominals are so important, because especially when you're on stage, the abdominals is the center of attention. It's also the core of your whole body. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of the movements that I like to do. Nothing fancy here, I just like to stick to the basics. And the two movements I like to combine are gonna be the hanging leg raises right into the crunches right on the floor, okay? So, I'll show you how I do this. There's a few different variations that you can do while you're doing these. You can do them with your legs extended. You can do them with just your knees bent, do knee raises. Or what you can do is also pelvic thrust, which would be just like so.
Now when doing this movement, it's important that you do full range of motion again. Full stretch so you get these, the really low on the bottom part of the abdominals and full extension all the way up so you're full contraction of the abs. Right into the lie down crunches. Okay, now the second part of the abdominal training is the superset part, which is the lie down crunches, okay? Again, this is a very basic movement. Uh, I like to stay very basic. I don't really use a lot of the weighted exercises because I don't like to have blocky abs. I like to keep the abdominal section nice and flat. But I will, like I said, do a lot of supersetting. So right from hanging leg raises, right down to the floor into lying crunches, okay? Now again, you're only gonna bring the shoulder blades off of the floor Basically from the mid chest down to the hips, that stays flat on the floor. So here's the movement. Now you're gonna see a lot of people doing abs in the gym and that a lot of people say they can do 100 of these at a time. Well, the key to here is quality reps, okay? I can make 20 reps hurt like it was 100, okay? And that's what you need to do. So each rep needs to be very intentional, meaning uh, when you come up, you need to squeeze as hard as you can and come back down. You're basically, you're keeping them tight the whole time, nice and slow, okay? So your goal should be, you know, 20, 25. It sounds like a low number, but make those 20, 25 hurt. So. And there you have it, the second part of the abdominal training. Now these are the basic movements that I use to get my abs looking like this. Just basic hanging leg raises right into crunches. No tricks, no gimmicks, that's what I do. Okay, now I'm halfway through my workout and what I like to do is to take a few minutes and uh, grab my glutamine by ProLab and I'll take a scoop of this and I'll throw it in my water and I'll just shake it on up and, and uh, drink it. And the reason why I like to take glutamine is it is the most abundant amino acid in your body and uh, it helps with uh, recuperation and helps feed your muscles. So uh, I think it's very important. So like I said, I already threw it in here. I just shake it up, it's very easy to use and back to my workout. Okay, now the next body part that I'm gonna go through is gonna be the forearms. The forearms consist of the flexor muscles, the extensor muscles, and on top, which would be the brachioradialis. Now, a lot of people don't do forearms because they feel it's, it's such a small muscle, but it's very important. And the reason why I think it's very important is when, if, if a lot of you have you know, problems with holding the weights, for instance, with the shrugs or a lot of pull-down movements, well, that's because your grip is giving out, and that has to do with the forearm muscles. Now, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate a few exercises to show you how you can strengthen your forearms. Okay. Now I like to do is start off with a barbell right here, and what I'll do is I'll lay flat against the, with my forearms on the bench, and I'll let the bar roll all the way down to my fingertips. And I'll roll them all the way up for full flex in the forearm. And roll down and stretch. And what I'll do is I'll usually get about 10 to 15 reps with this. And then right from here, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and set the barbell right down on the floor and I'll sit on the end of the bench and from here I'll just grab it here and again let it roll all the way down to my fingertips and all the way up full flexion and just to hit the last part of the forearm which is the brachioradialis I'll stand up and I'll do some reverse curls just like so There you go. Nice Popeye forearms. Okay, we're moving on to our last body part and that is the calves. Okay, now all of you know the calves are very important because we all like to wear shorts and you don't want to have these little pencil legs coming out of the bottom of your shorts. So one of the movements that I like to incorporate is a standing calf raise, okay? Now if you're in a gym and it's very busy, and I like to show you a variation of the calf raise and what it is is it's really simple. If the machine is being tied up, just go grab a dumbbell, get a block, find something to lean against, and you do one-legged calf raises, okay? So it's gonna go like so. Make sure you go full extension, 
Full stretch at the bottom now. Full flex. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And there you have it. All right, we're on to the second part of the calf training. And once again, I'm gonna throw another variation at you. You've all seen the seated calf raise. Well, I'm gonna show you something different, okay? This is gonna be the seated, one-legged, dumbbell calf raise. Try saying that three times fast, okay? Pretty simple, once again, pull the block over, find a bench, stick one leg on there, throw the dumbbell on your knee, and there you go. Full extension, full stretch at the bottom, full flex at the top. You can see the soleus and the gastroc working together. I like to get a slight pause at the top here. And there you go. There you have it. Now that's going to wrap up our segment here at the Fit Show. I'd like to thank the Coliseum for having us here. I hope that I was able to show you a few new tips that you're going to be able to, to incorporate into your bodybuilding regimen. Thanks again and see you soon.